That's not my name. Anusha Sweet. That's not my name. It was Mira's first day of school. Good morning, Mira. I love you, Mira. Good luck, Mira. In the morning, Baba made her favorite breakfast. Mama kissed Mira's forehead and Nanny waved them goodbye. Mira had been waiting for months to start school. She was so excited to learn, to play, and most of all, to make friends. She shyly stood in front of the class and said, my name is Mira. Hi, Mina. Miriam? Mira? Hey, Mira? Mira? Hi, Mira. Meha? Yeah. Yo, Mara. Neha. Mira thought her name was simple and easy, but the other kids couldn't say it right. They stretch out the I until it sounds like an E and the R sounded wrong. Some people even forgot the H. Even some of your teachers say it wrong. Is Mina here? Here. Mira didn't want to be called Mina for the rest of the year, but she was too shy to speak up and correct her teacher. Hayden asked Mira if he could call her Maya. He said that would be easy for everyone to say. She wanted to shout, that's not my name, but she didn't. Mira's first day had gone how she had imagined at all. Why can, can anyone say my name right? She wondered sadly. Mama and Baba and Nanny can say it. Why cannot anyone else? Mira felt like giving up. She thought about changing her name to something easier something other kids would like would think was normal the other kids would think was normal if she had a different name no one would get it wrong when she ordered hot chocolate at cafe maybe she could finally find a keychain with her name on it maybe she could make some friends when she arrived home Mira told Mama about her plan to change her name. But Mama didn't look happy. You have a beautiful name, she said. Mira meets happiness in Arabic. Mama said, the first time I heard your laugh, I knew that it fit you perfectly. And now your name is different from your classmates. But that isn't a bad thing. It just means that it's, it's unique and special. Your name is something to be proud of and no one can take that away from you. Mama said Mira, shouldn't change your name for anyone. If people can remember names like Beethoven, and Tchaikovsky and Michelangelo, they can remember Mira. You are right, Mama. I'm proud of my name and I love what it means. I cannot wait to tell the whole world that my name is Mira. Mira kept Mama's world close to her when she went back to school the next day. My name is Mira, not Maya, she told Hayden proudly and explained how to pronounce it properly. 
I will make sure to say your name right from now on, Mira, said Hayden. I'm also really sorry that I hurt your feelings yesterday when she asked when, <coughs> when he asked if they could play together. Mira smiled. She just made her first friend at school. Sometimes people still got it wrong, but that's okay. Hey, Mira! Because now Mira knew what to say. That's not my name. Now Mira has so many new friends at school. They all have unique, beautiful names. And she always makes sure she says them right. Leia, Dmitri, Sibna, Joseph, Aiko, Mira. I like my name because it means little loved one, said Aiko. Jasper joined in and said he was named after his granddad. Mira loves how different we all are, and she excited to make even more friends. Maybe you could be a friend too? My name is Mira. What's yours? The end.